What's good guys? It's Rose and I'm back with another story time. It's been a while since I've done a story time. Like, it's been so long. So I'm actually excited for this one. It's actually an interesting story. As you guys all know, I always have a drink with me whenever I do my story times. And I hope you guys have a drink too. So you can just sit down and sip with me as I tell my story. And you can just listen to my sweet voice. <laughs> anyway so guys I am so cheese day I am so cheese because um, I went to the store to get my favorite drink my favorite lemonade and I'm pretty sure you guys know this brand okay Calypso yes yes okay yes I know I hear you guys screaming yes yes Calypso is the ish okay so my favorite one what's your favorite one let me know in the comments below uh, but my favorite one is the blue one okay so as soon as i went to the convenience store i went straight to the back okay straight i didn't even look at anything else in the store i went straight to the back <laughs> to go find my drink tell me how i see all the other flavors except the blue one i was like excuse me oh my gosh i was so cheesed but i understand it's been a whole day and they couldn't restock but anyway so i got Yes, I got the green one. Um, my long nails, I can't even open this. Oh, by the way, guys, I've done my nails, but it's kind of like growing out. <laughs> or, it's growing out, but if I do this, it's like an ombre, you know, light purple. And I have uh, pixie crystals here. Yeah, it was for my birthday. <laughs> Let me know below what you think about my nails. It's a 10, right? Yeah, it's a 10. I can't open this. <laughs> Yo, when I, t when I try to type at work with these nails, I still cannot. I try to make them short, but um, still not short enough. I'm still struggling to type. Okay. All right. So, so let's, let's toast to not having any waste in our, in our life. life. Yes. yes. It's still good. This is good. Woo! Okay. Anyways, I don't want to talk too much, but um, let's get straight into it. So, as you can tell by the title, my story time is about my ex, okay? It's about my ex and... Um, this man. This man was a crazy man. If you guys enjoy this one, let me know if you want like an, uh, a part two. I'll do a series. I don't mind. <laughs> Anyways, so this one, um, our relationship was fresh, you know, and um, we decided to go celebrate my birthday. And um, it was going to be with friends at a club. So I'm like, okay, yeah, we're going to turn up. We're going to have fun. And around that time, I think I was like, I was in my early 20s. I'm going to say that. This girl I was friends with at the time, um, she knew about like all the good places and stuff like that. So they invited us to, I forgot the name of the club. Yeah, I don't remember the name of the club, um, but it was somewhere downtown Toronto. Anyways, so she came with her crew, like all her girls and everything. I think there was like one or two other guys, um, but we decided to meet up before, you know? We decided to meet up and um, should I give a background about my guy? I'm gonna take this back, okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so me and this person, we were friends first, you know, for a few months, and then obviously feelings started getting involved and all these things, and um, yeah, we started dating for a good amount of time. And um, yeah, like we end up being, we made it official. We made it official like a week or two, a week or two before my birthday. But anyways, Anyway, so since my friend invited like her group of friends, her group of girls too, um, that was going to be my first time to see how he would react around a, a whole bunch of women in front of me, you know, when we hang out. So anyways, we decided to all meet up um, somewhere downtown and just to chill for a bit before, you know, going to the club. 
um yeah so we all introduced ourselves and you know we were all talking and just chilling and took pictures and stuff like that and um this one girl eh? this one girl was like oh he's so cool and then he's like yeah you know um i'm not to be honest i don't remember who said let's switch numbers because that could have been like a red flag but all i saw was them like obviously looking in each other's phones and i'm like <laughs> this is not happening right now all right guys so while editing i'm just remembering that the girl said you know whenever we have other outings you know you guys should come with us and she's trying to get his number and i'm like what the heck first of all i'm already close friends with her friend and you're asking my man for his number when you could be asking me so i'm like mm -hmm. okay these girls obviously it's not just two anyways okay this is what you do we're not doing that so you're trying to make new friends while we are out celebrating my birthday okay we're out celebrating my birthday and you're trying to get someone's number already even though if it's just like friends or whatever that's kind of weird do not no she could have asked for my number too so these kind of women you need to watch for them um anyways <laughs> so you know we all chill we took some good pictures and i have my eye on that girl i'm like i'm gonna keep watching her for the whole night and i didn't tell my friend but I'm looking at you up and down. Yes. <laughs> On to the um, next part. Um, we get into the club. You know, we're all enjoying ourselves, you know, enjoying the music, having our drinks and all that. We're getting turned, okay? Um, tell me how. Okay. When you meet someone, you need to see them in all seasons. I guess there were some parts of him that I did not see. For example, yes, we went to parties and stuff like that, but I should have seen him when he he would get start getting drunk and how he would behave around a certain women but um this man I was chilling by the bar for a second I think my friend was getting me a drink and um I look at one side okay I just randomly like spotted my guy in the crowd and he's looking at this girl and he's like just feeling like how she's dancing whatever so I'm just like you know with men it's okay to look it's okay to look but don't touch like it's, it's okay, okay to look but don't touch, touch. <laughs> but anyways so he's looking whatever and he's feeling the you know the music and everything and then he started going closer to her and i'm like let me watch this i'm just by the bar okay i'm by the bar and this is me go on do what you want like i'm just watching but he's not seeing me okay so he starts going close to her and then as soon as he was about to start whining and grinding with her i ran to him and surprise mother <laughs> jeez i hurt myself i ran to him grabbed him by his shirt and i turned him i'm like are you good are you good is this what we do when we celebrate our partner's birthday are you good <laughs> So he looked at me and I'm like, what the heck? Like, how, what? Anyways, I know some partners, like some couples are okay with their partners dancing with other people, you know? But on my end, that's just with me. Like, I'm not, that's not my kind of relationship. If you want to go dance with other women, especially on the day of my birthday when we're supposed to celebrate me, you good? You didn't try, what? Me and him, we didn't even get to, um really dance yet at that point so the first woman you're gonna dance with is a whole stranger he probably thought that i wasn't gonna see him because obviously it's dark and everyone you know it's kind of packed and everything but <laughs> i saw you with your bright color um pants but anyways he i'm like no 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 let's go talk outside he's like i'm like let's go talk outside at that point i was fuming i was cheesed i was hurt i was like what why is this happening to me and we went outside where everyone is, um, hold on. Ooh, okay. So we went outside where, um, obviously everyone was smoking and stuff like that. We went outside, I'm like, you know, what's wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Why are you dancing with another girl? This is what you do? This is not what I'm looking for. And then this man 
you know, red flag, early red flag in my, early in our relationship, okay? Red flag. Anyways, he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I did, I'm like, yo, I didn't even want to let the man talk. I'm sorry, but Rose, back then, I'm sorry, that's what I did. I am not joking. As he's talking, I'm like, no, I'm not buying into this. Oh, I'm sorry, da, 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 whatever you want to say. I looked at him and I'm like, another one. And he looked at me shocked. I grabbed his earrings. I don't know why I did that. I don't know. I probably saw red. I don't know. I slapped him, grabbed his earrings, ah! throw it in the air, and um, I'm like, I don't play this game. I don't play this game. To be honest, the look on everyone's face outside, they were shocked because they were legit like talking with their friends, smoking and everything. And as soon as they heard that, and another one. They all stop. All you see is people going like, what? Or you hear people laughing and everything. People were legit laughing at this guy. Yeah, he felt embarrassed. I don't care. But yeah, I was surprised that he did not hit back. Because if a man hits back, it's a whole like, we're, go we're going to go at it. Um, <laughs> but no, guys, I don't condone violence. Um, I guess I should have handled it differently. Me now, I would be like, that's what you want to do? Okay, bet. That's it. And move on, do my own thing. But me back then, yeah, I was kind of like crazy and shit. But um, yeah, so after those two hits, I was relieved. And that's why I was able to go dance again with my friends. <laughs> I went back, went back inside the club. And I'm like, looking at my girls, I'm like, no, let's go turn up. Since this person wants to turn up, let's go turn up. So... <laughs> No, I'm not the person that'll be spiteful and try to be like, okay, you want to do this? I'm going to go do that. No. So I just went to go dance with my friends and he tried to come around and try to talk to me. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, I, I just wasn't having it. And he's trying to apologize and I don't know. Um, I try to avoid him for the remaining of the party. And I'm like, when we left, you know, we were all chilling. And I'm like, yo, I can't talk to this man. I just cannot. Like, the disrespect was really, it was bad. But yeah, so he was trying to talk to me, sweet talk, all these things. And me back then, I'm like, okay, I forgive you and stuff like that. And we took our little, you know, cute pictures. And then we decided to go, to go home. But no, the disrespect. This is not my kind of relationship. I don't do that. So I want to know, comment below if, you guys are okay if your partners went out and they're dancing with other people. Like, let's say you're not there and they're turning up with their boys or they're turning up with their girls and they're dancing with other people. Are you okay with that? Or let's say you're there. Would you allow your partner to dance with someone else? With me, my answer is no, no on both. <laughs> like, no, that's to me. I don't know. I feel like that's disrespect, but, um, yeah to be honest i stayed in that relationship for long and that was one of like the first red flags i'm like but i'm like okay one thing about me i do give people chances okay so i need to stop myself right there we can't be giving second chances to anything so it depends what the person has done and then we can talk about that anyways um so that was like strike one um, but anyways, after that relationship, yo, I learned a whole lot, a whole lot. If you guys are seeing a huge red flag and it's something that you're not okay with, yes, talk to your partner about it. But if they keep like, you know, if they, if they keep doing it and then they see that you keep forgiving them about that, they're going to be like, yo, that person's going to forgive me anyways. So it's not going to hurt this time or whatever, but no. Once you don't like something, you let someone know. If you keep doing it, you drop them and you move on. You'll find someone better. Trust me. Um, but yeah, that was my little story time. Let me know below if you want another like story about an ex. The type of stuff that men do. The disrespect. And then we just let a lot of like simple things slide or whatever. Don't let nobody fool you, eh? If you see something and you don't like it, Take care of the situation and just move on but anyways guys uh let me know in the comments below if you like my story time uh don't forget to subscribe okay 
don't forget to subscribe let's be friends i have a whole bunch of story times to do for you guys and um hit that notification bell i will see you guys soon bye